Hello. In this lecture, we discuss the unit and the system of units and their drawbacks. The unit is a standard used in this chapter. In this lecture, we will study unit and the system of units and their drawbacks. Any standard used for the measurement of a physical quantity is called unit. For example, length can be measured as meter, foot and inch. Similarly, the unit of mass could be kg or pound. Time can be measured in second, minute or in hour. Temperature can be measured in Fahrenheit or in Kelvin. But all units are not accepted internationally. SI system accepted only those units which satisfy some conditions. It should be accurately defined. It should be of suitable size, not too large and not very small. It should not change with time. It should not change with temperature, pressure, etc. That is, it should be invariable. Replicas of units should be available easily. That is, it should be reproducible. It is accepted internationally. Now the question is who decides the unit and what is the need of choosing same unit all over the world? The first essential thing about the choice of a standard unit for a physical quantity is its international acceptance. If everyone were to choose his or her own unit for the quantity, it will become a mess to communicate freely among the scientists all over the world. A body named General Conference on Weights and Nazars was set up and have authority to decide the units by international agreement. System of unit is a complete set of units, both fundamental and derived, for all kinds of physical quantities. Each system is named in terms of fundamental units on which it is based. The common system of units used are given below. Number one is CGS system of units, second, FPS system of units, the MQS system of units and the SI system of units. The CGS system of unit is a system which was first introduced in France. It is also known as Gaussian system of units. It is based on centimeter, gram and second as the fundamental unit of length, mass and time. In CG system of unit, length is measured in centimeter, mass is measured in gram and time is measured in seconds. The drawback of CG system is that many of the derived units on these systems are inconveniently small. The next system of unit is FPS. This system was introduced in Britain. It is also known as British system of units. It is based on foot, pound and second as the fundamental unit of length, mass and time. The drawback of this system of unit is that it is loses its popularity because of inconvenient multiples and some multiples involved in its conversion. Due to this, this system is loses its popularity. Next is the MK system of unit. It is a metric system of unit. It is closely related to the CGS system of unit. In this system of unit, length is measured in meter, 
mass is measured in kilogram and time in second the drawback of mks system is that the fundamental units of mass length and time on mks system could be used to obtain the physical quantities in mechanics and can't be used in heat thermodynamics optics and in modern physics so it is required to extend the mks system of unit SI system of unit is extended form of MKS system of units. Now the international system of unit. In 1971, Journal Conference on Weight and Measures held its meeting and decided a system of units for international usage. This system is called International System of Units and abbreviated as SI from its French name. The SI unit consists of seven fundamental units and two supplementary units, which is already discussed. Now, the, what are the advantages of the SI system of unit? It is a rational system of unit, that is, in this system, makes use of only one unit for one physical quantity. For example, all forms of energy are measured in Joule. In MQ system, mechanical energy is measured in Joule, heat energy in calories, and electrical energy in kilowatt hour. But I, in SI unit, all types of energy is measured in Joule. You know very well that the one calorie is equal to 4.18 Joule. One kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 Joule. Second, it is a coherent system of unit. In this system, all the derived units can be easily obtained from basic and supplementary units. That is, in this system of units, all units can be obtained by either multiplication or by dividing the fundamental units. It is a matrix system of unit. That is, the multiples and the sum multiples of SI units can be expressed as power of 10. This system of unit is internationally accepted. Thank you and have